So let's now go to the next step, which is the implementation. So the, in the implementation, actually, as we say, we have now the test cases. So we can jump. We can jump to the next step, which is the execution. We have the test cases, so we run the test, we run the, this test. But we have to rearrange, we have to uh, prioritize, we have to uh, prepare everything to get ready for the next step, which is test executions. So what we have to do in this uh, step, which is in the implementation or with these activities, what the activities of this step, actually, we have to design something with the test procedure. Also, we have to create, if we need, we have to create the test suit. So what is this and what is this? So in the next slide, you will see, we have also to rearrange the test suite within the execution schedule. Okay, we have schedule, we said to follow. We have to build, now we have to build later, we design, uh, and previously we designed, now we build the test environment. So, and then also we prepare the data, the test data, we prepare the test data, if not really. So now here, I think everything clear, we don't know what's the test procedure. We don't know what the test suite. So let's see what these two things with example. So uh, in the test implementation, we uh, organize and prioritize the test cases. Then to get ready, why we do that actually, okay, based on your, uh, not just uh, randomly run the test cases. No, you have to uh, group your test cases into uh, a grouping into procedure into into test suite then uh, the test execution will be effective and efficient not just running any things so this is uh, the purpose of test implementation the test implementation is to get everything ready uh, so sometimes for example as we see you want to test uh, many 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 uh, based on the requirement for example Okay, you are designing or testing uh, shopping or uh, online shopping, online shopping system. So here you should to test not only uh, the module, each module is uh, separately. So you should do what? Test it in sequence, all together. So this is the procedure. We have to create a procedure. We have to create test suite. So see what the difference is not, it's not, uh, it's not that's uh, actually the difference is nothing, just, uh, here is growing based on some uh, some logical sequence, but the test suite is just grouping, just because, for example, the uh, because the method that you use, for example, of the level you are in. So let's see what the test procedure. Okay, here an example for the test procedure. First, test procedure is the combination of more than one test cases. Combination of more than one test cases. Why we combine this? Why we combine this? We have some logical reason. We have a logical reason. So here maybe this is the difference between the test cases and the test procedure. So here we have some logical behind that. But in the test suite, we just we have combination and we won't try it because as we see, for example, uh, I want to I'm I'm doing uh, so what we can say is a unit testing. So I have. 10 units and I want to test that 10 units. So I prepare the test cases for that 10 unit. So this is the test suit. And the test procedure, it's, we have a logical things, we have a logical reason behind the test procedure, by behind creating the test procedure. So let's see this example. We have these test cases. For example, verifying, this is the test cases, verify few product, verify add to cut as a, as a functional. Verify place order. Verify making payment. So this one is can be considered as a test cases or test conditions. So if you see here, this uh, test condition actually it's used for online shopping. So we want to see the sequence from the beginning to the end of the purchase any product. So what the sequence here? We want to test that. We want to test that. So we have to create a procedure. We have to create the procedure because you can say you can you can uh, verify the few product few a product so it's working add to the cart it's working but as a sequence as a sequence from the first step to uh, few the product until make the payment so this uh, sequence of uh, steps 
it's uh, we have to create a test procedure for that. And that's test procedure here. There is a reason. If you see the reason here, we want to test the sequence of these, uh, these cases. So here we have to create a uh, test procedure. And here example of the test procedure for this, for example, uh, the user, for example, it's few, as we see the first procedure, the user few to two products, add them, add the two product to the uh, to the cart, and then place order with n or two product or three, add, and then uh, after that pay make the payment. So this is the first procedure. So the second procedure, for example, few two product add them to the cart, remove one product, and then place order with one product and make the payment for that product. So here you see if we have some reason to combine these test cases. We have a reason to combine these cases. So from now, uh, what the what, after that, what we have to do to derive now the test cases from this procedure. Okay, so this is the test procedure. Test procedure is just nothing, just combination of test cases, but we have some reason behind that. If we go to the next now, next, which is the test suite. So the test suite or test suite, both is can be, uh, is acceptable. Uh, it's, it's maybe, as we see the different there, we have some logical reason, but here there is no reason. Maybe this is, we combine uh, these because just, uh, the test case, test case types. Okay, we have, now we are doing uh, unit testing. So we combine all the unit testing. And the second thing, maybe we have some, okay, priority based on the priority. So also based on the execution, if slow or medium or fast run. So this one, it's just combination of test cases. So here the same thing. So for example, if we have uh, this combination, this combination, though this is a test suite, and we have here, Log in, add product, check out, log out. So this is, we want to check all these test cases. If you consider it as a test cases. So we can consider this as a test cases. Then it's a combination of test cases. So let's see now the last two step, which is the test execution and test completion. So in the test execution, now you have the test cases is ready and you already organize the test cases into test procedure and test suite. So what you have to do now is to run that test cases. So the first thing or the first task or the main task of this uh, phases, it's running the execution, running the test. So here we have to run the test. We have to run the test, but before that, we have to record some information about the test. The test ID, the test object, the test tool, so the test where, so some information about the test that you running. So, and then you have to compare the actual result and record, record also the result, record the result, either it's pass or fail. And then compare the actual result with the expected result. And then analyze the anomalies to establish their likely cause. So now you, uh, there is defect, for example. So you have to anal analyze why that defect is. It could be, a, it's why it's happening. Why that defect is happening. Maybe because the food, because the code, because uh, the environment, because so you have to okay, record there. So also reporting the defects based on the failure observation. Based on the failure observation. The last one, which is, repeating all these, uh, all the test case, all the test cases until you meet the testing criteria, testing criteria. So here, if you see, this is also the important step, but is the most important one is the design, analyze and designing the test cases. Here, we just uh, run the test cases and then record the result of that test cases. So here, uh, maybe we can improve the test script, our test script by adding, by adding the result, the result of the test, uh, the result of the test case. 
executing the test case. So this is important step to add the result of the test cases. So the last step, which is the test completion. So this is just uh, nothing, just it's record and reporting everything. This is actually is done after uh, finishing the test cases, finishing the testing process. So we just record and uh, or reporting everything, the status of the, uh, the testing process, also uh, something else like hand of uh, handing over the testware, also also what you learn from the test uh, from this test process. What is it here? Analyzing the result from this test process. So just this test cases or the last step, which is the test completion, is just recording all the activities uh, related to the test process. So guys, uh, in the end, in the end, you should know how to create the test case document, which is a test case script. So I give you the example here. I give you the example. The end by the end of this uh, by the end of this test process we have here example of the login page log login page so we have here so actually also is missing here we should add the actual result okay so here we have the test conditions. The test conditions, the conditions, or uh, this also is called this scenario. And then now we take only the first, the first test condition, and then we create its test cases. So here we have the test cases of the first condition, and then we put also the precondition, the test step, the test data, the expected result, and the post condition also the actual result. The actual result, for example, here. Uh, a successful uh, page or successful uh, yes success so maybe you can see the main page is display so we then we compare if pass or not pass so here is the test document or test script which is include the test condition test uh, cases also the step as well uh, the result of the test cases so by the end of the test cases you should at least at least know how to how to uh, develop this test case document or test case script.